Okay, guys, so we met our first fan over here at Toronto Comic Con. It's Dennis, and he made me sign a paper for him. Absolutely. Thank you very much. Yeah, no problem. We also swapped pops, too. I gave him the Captain Marvel, uh, the Walmart exclusive, because we said whichever fan we saw first, we would give it to. And then he gave us a, uh, which one was it? The Daryl Dixon? Yeah, the Daryl Previous Dixon. exclusive. Absolutely. Awesome. Thank you so much for that. Thank you. Yeah, have fun Good at the luck. con. You too. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, guys, so we are now going into the convention. This is pretty exciting. And we're off. We're line one. We're going first. Ha ha! Hey, no, look, show Pikachu. Okay, guys, so if you don't know, over here they actually have some of the pops from the convention from Fan Expo. Um, so they've got Austin Matthews and they've got um, Dudley Do Right. And they also have the. Bob Ross do-it-yourself. I'm thinking of getting one of those because if you want to see this, we're probably going to pick one up, but it's going to be a do-it-yourself. We do a Bob Ross painting on one, see how that goes, following a Bob Ross tutorial. Um, I think we're going to do that though. So anyways, let's keep going. Let's go into the real convention. All right, guys, we're now in the convention, so let's go around and see what's going on. Ooh, pops. So guys, as we're going through these here, there are some pretty nice um, retired ones here. We've got Cogsworth, Ariel, uh, Fireman Dumbo's really nice. Um, Dumbo, original, the Minnie Mouse one, that's really cool. Um, maybe we'll have to come, we're gonna of course look around first, but maybe we'll have to come back and get that Cogsworth. I really like that one. Um, I do see a bunch of Fortnite ones down here as well, if you wanna show those off. And there are some Chase ones in here, and a bunch of really awesome ones, but let's scoop by over here so we can get to the other stuff. Uh, what else do we got? Well, give, give, give me a second here. Hey guys, do you see these over here? So they have some of the Star Wars ones. We've got Darth Vader, R2-D2, Princess Leia, Wicket. That's really neat. We have some uh, Box Lunch Junkrats, really cool. And then look, no, over to up top there, too, no, on your right, they have a bunch of really cool stuff. King Dice, Cuphead, Walmart Bell, Remy. That Remy chase is really cool. Uh, but Thank you. Uh, then we also have Bob Ross with Hoot, Gloria, Mr. Bean, and a bunch of other really cool pops in this booth. Guess okay, so we found another booth with a bunch of really cool pops. We've got Batgirl, Deadpool, Scooby Dumb, Leatherhead, and like a bunch of really cool like specialty series ones. Also here I noticed the Castile over here. They got Mr. Peabody and Sherman. Uh, Sherman. Now this one's Rye. a Rye, the pop guy. Um, this one is a little faded, so we won't, probably won't pick this one up today. But they've got some pretty cool stuff over here. Um, Aquaman, Angry Groot is really neat. No, show that one off nice and close up. I do not see that one often. Um, that one's cool. And for only 24 bucks, that's pretty neat. Uh, here, go to the right over there too. Show this one's off. We've got like the Joker and Batgirl and Madcap is really cool. That was the Chase. No, there was a metallic Chase version uh, for that year. Uh, but yeah, there's a bunch of really neat ones. We've got like the Vision that's kind of like fading and uh, Fool Killer and Space Cadet and a bunch of other really neat ones. All right, guys, so we found another booth with a bunch of really cool pops. We've got like Luke Skywalker with Speeder. I see Goliath over here. That's the Hot Topic exclusive that glows in the dark. That's another one you don't see very often. Um, but as we pan down, guys, they've got like a saran wrap in front of it or like something so you can keep it, you know, so they're safe. Um, but there is a bunch of cool ones like Ed Sheeran, Weird Al, Justin Bieber for only seven bucks. That's not bad. They have some of the new girl ones um, down here as well. This one's 25, which I'm not sure why. I guess she's the main character, so it makes sense. It's a little more. Uh, but then over here, you know, I see a bunch of chases. You want to show these ones off? No, get in on the Lumpy Space Princess. Do you see that one? That one's really neat. Um, and then we've also got Jeffrey as Iron Man and a couple other ones, a couple chases. Uh, we've got the Darth Vader chase. Uh, what are you looking at? A Bernie Sanders, that one's funny. Uh, Punisher, Wilson Fisk, Knut's Commander. You know, get down bottom there and show off the Kira with Fizzgig, that one's neat. See that one down there? That's really cool. Um, there's a bunch of other ones down there as well. Some you don't see too often. I like a lot of the chases that they've got here actually and some good exclusives. Uh, but yeah, oh, here's Nikki Bella. You don't see that one. And Brie, you get, you get the twins right there. Pretty cool. Uh, but yeah, that seems to be about it for what I'm looking for over at this booth. Oh, do you see Negascott? Yeah, go through it. Okay, guys, so over here, I do see the Pennywise with wig. I don't know if I'm allowed to touch these, but I'm going to show it off here. That one's really neat. Now, they are selling Gimli for more, um, which is 24, which it's a good thing we brought one because it's actually much cheaper if you bring it. Um, I see a bunch of, like, the Scott Pilgrim ones here. Like, how much is this one going for? $334. I probably should not be touching that. <laughs> so uh, what's going on over at this booth over here? This booth is all about literacy. What you got in a galaxy far, far awry. You guys know Spaceballs. You guys know X-Men. Imagine somebody took those two concepts, stuck them together into a book series. And you're thinking this is a graphic novel. It is. Hold on, but I can't draw. And art is freaking expensive to get. So I wrote the comic instead. <laughs> so that's what you have here. It's a book series and it takes stuff like, you know, X-Men, Superman, Batman, Spider-Man, Guardians of the Galaxy, stuff like that, all that comic book stuff. And it takes the space stuff, like, sorry, Star, um, Star Wars, Star Trek, 
Spaceballs, Futurama, hmm. Guardians of the Galaxy again. Sticks all that together, no concept that you got here. Book series, got five in the mouth so far. Cross your fingers, six of them are going to be out sometime this year. That's really neat. Thank you so much for no this. No problem. Yeah, thank you. Thanks. You guys, don't forget to check them out. All right, guys, over here is Artist Alley. Um, we're not going to be showing too much in here, but we will be going around a bit to see what's in there. Um, but maybe we'll do a little bit of close-ups, but uh, still, our main focus today is the Funko Pops. All right, guys, so we are in another booth here with a bunch of really cool pops. Now, why don't you do like a 360 real quick just to show everything off. There's a lot of really cool pops, and I see a lot of like Hot Topic exclusives, some uh, Star Wars Galactic Conventions exclusives. There's a lot behind the booth over here as well, but I am noticing, though, show off the Deadpool stuff up here. Look at that one. There's so many cool ones. There's Deadpool Venom over there. $74, that's crazy. Uh, Fool Killer, Stingray, then we got some other ones from Walgreens over here. They're actually organized pretty nice in here. Wayne Gretzky Chase. Um, I don't know, there's just a bunch of really cool. There's the Bob Ross one that's for $54, I and mean, you can buy it out there for like 12 so I don't understand that one. Um, but yeah, there's a bunch. Uh, down here as well, we got Digimon, we've got uh, Motley Crue, Metallica, a bunch of, this is a lot of Pop Rocks ones I'm noticing this year. Um, so far from the booths that we looked at. But no, we've got more room over here, so let's go down here. Uh, they've got a bunch of like Sesame Street down there. Show those ones off. Those ones are really nice. Um, Charlie Brown, Penguins of Madagascar. Uh, here, Noah, is the chase section. That's really cool. We should get a shot of this one. This one's really nice. Yeah, go through that right there. So many cool chases here. Um, they also have the Mr. Bean chase, which I've been looking for for a while. I don't know if I'm going to pick it up because we're still looking around, guys. You know, it's like one of our fifth booths or whatever. Uh, one of the first ones. Elias is really cool. This one right here, no? Alias. alias. Is this Alias? You sure? Oh, no, that's a name. That's Elias. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Anyways, this is the Chase version. Really cool. It's black and white instead of the normal colored one. They also have Coraline and Raincoat, Spy Gru. Uh, but anyways, guys, just a bunch, a bunch of really cool pops. Okay, guys, so we found some uh, bigger booth with, like, a bunch of pops. Like, no, show how far down this goes before you continue. Like, look at that. It's, it's really long here. It's crazy full of pops. But, um... There is a bunch of ones over here. They've got like some Star Wars ones, some blue box ones actually, like the Luke Skywalker X-Wing pilot. Um, and there's a bunch of other ones over here. <laughs> What's he doing? What's this kid doing out here? Anyways, uh, I thought this was kind of funny. But yeah, a bunch of really cool ones. Guys, up there is the entire set of Family Guy ones. And no, before we continue, uh, down bottom, they have Despicable Me, as well as Shrek and Kung Fu Panda. That's pretty cool. I noticed, guys, that there are a lot of really cool Wetmore Forest ones over here. They've got Liverwort, Angus Knucklebark, Magnus Twistknot, Grumble, Butterhorn, Slog and Grub is a really cool one. Tumblebee, the OG Tumblebee, that's neat. Um, but yeah, there are some pretty cool ones over here. Um, we're going to keep looking around because this is a huge booth. Hope you guys can see it, but there's the Comic Fest Star-Lord and the previous exclusive Rocket Raccoon. Both really cool pops. Guys, I noticed up there that they have Captain Crunch, the Big Boy 20th Anniversary, and Colonel Sanders. I'm going to quickly go down to the bottom. I want to show something off. Do you see the Eve down here? It's only 30 over here, but 33 on the other side. I thought that's pretty neat. We ran into the Disney section over here, and we found the Toy Story ones and the Woody and Buzz. Oh, it's only 17? I think we're going to be picking up Woody today, guys. It's only 17. Um, it was, I think, over at Plan Collect, they used to have a couple, and it was in their, like, vaulted section for 15. Um, so 17's not that bad at all because they sold out of it. Um, but they do have a bunch of really cool ones. And then over here, guys, they've got a couple more Disney ones. We'll show these ones off as well. Um, Alice, Oscar the Grouch is pretty cool. El Cabong, Bert. So, you know, there's the Popeye with the specialty series sticker. The other one didn't have one. Um, but, yeah, guys, looks like we're going to have to pick up Woody today. All right, guys, so we ran into the Batman 80th anniversary ones. This is the Batman first appearance. That's really neat. Um, just thought we would show these ones off because we might pick one up today. But, Mom, there is a bunch of other booths, too, so I don't know if I want to pick up too many things, but that one I know I might be able to get at home. Um, that one's on Box Lunch right now. I can order that one for, like, $12 is the thing. But, like, I know Woody. I'm never going to see this one again. I don't know. Well, anyways, we'll think about it. So, guys, we ran into the Icon section, and they have uh, Colonel Sanders, Stan Lee, and Dr. Seuss here. This Stan Lee we actually did a review on uh, pretty recently, and uh, this one was one that came out, which is really nice. This is like the patina Stan Lee, um, kind of like a memorial for after he passed away, which I think is really awesome. Uh, the Colonel Sanders is great. The same with the bucket of chicken. And then we've got Dr. Seuss over here holding the cat in the hat. Here we ran into a couple Kung Fu Panda ones that you don't see too much. Tigress we saw earlier. Poe we did not see. So there's two different Poes here, Poe with hat and Poe. Um, pretty cool figures. And there are a bunch of other ones as well up and around. Which one, Dan? The Woody Woodpecker? The Woody Woodpecker. Ah, we did see Woody Woodpecker. There's, I believe there's one over here as well. Um, I think I saw one. 
I'm not sure. Anyways, we're gonna keep going, guys. I think we're gonna get Woody, and then we're gonna get out of here. It's getting tight. All right, guys, so over on this wall over here, I'm seeing like Mr. Monopoly, the Noid, Fruit Pie, the Magician, a bunch of really cool ad icons. And then Noah, go over to the right one more. Oh, we've got like ACDC, Thanos is really cool, uh, Mickey Mouse, Bender, Gold Bender, that's neat. We'll go down one. Uh, we've got over here, we've got Kurt Cobain, Angus Young, the Stan Lee, no, here, scoot in a bit. Let's show off that Stan Lee. That's the one from Captain America, the first Avenger. That one's really neat as well. Um, I see they're selling my um, Epic Mickey Mickey for 60 bucks. That's the one that I have. That's really neat. I'm still looking for the Michael Jordan jumping signature pose. Um, I'm gonna maybe ask if they have that one because they seem to have a lot of really cool uh, different ones. They do have Adam Bomb up there, no, if you want to check that out. The Toy Tokyo exclusive. Um, what else do we got? The Prince Akeem from Coming to America, Target exclusive. Uh, some other Bruce Lee bait ones. The golden Bruce Lee ones are really neat. I don't know how much those are, 80 bucks. That's not that bad. It's a little expensive, but it's pretty good. Um, but yeah, they've got some movie ones down there. And then uh, that seems to be about it for the back. Well, it's kind of like the expensive section. They have an even more expensive section locked up in front of the guys, but uh, we'll have to show that one off in a bit. The Chase Huckleberry Hound, Bez. That's what I said. Okay, guys, so down here, this is like the Get This Sign kind of cabinet, because there's Sonic. They actually have Jaleel White here, who is the um, voice actor for the animated series. Um, so they have a couple of them here, over here. And then over on that side, guys, this is like the more expensive cabinet. I noticed that they have the Hound in like a hard stack. That's pretty neat. Um, and then they also have, like, I see down there, Chase Twinkie the Kid and Lucky the Leprechaun. And they also have Psy from Gangnam Style. They have Superboy. Um, a bunch of really cool ones in that cabinet over there. You guys, we're over here at uh, Bad Monkey's Popcorn right here. Pretty cool stuff over here. Bunch of popcorn. It's pretty good, actually. Okay, guys, so right now we're getting our Gimli Pop signed by John Rhys Davies over here. He's actually just off to the side over there. We can't film while we're up there, but we're going to try and film from back here. Also, guys, if you look over on the right, guys, you can see Jaleel White with Corbin Bernson over there, which is kind of funny. Here he comes, guys. Ken's pop then. First time in a video ever. Hey, hey, there he is. How's it going? Oh, uh, good. Did you bring anything to get signed today? No, not today. Nothing? You want to see something cool? Oh, you got a sign? Yeah. He gave us a he gave us a lecture on a teen depression. <laughs> That's, That's cool. Yeah. First time in the video. Double sign too. Really? Yeah. Oh wow. It's neat, eh? Oh, you got a vaulted vinyl protector. That's a good one. <laughs> Gotta bring the best. All right, here we go. Yeah, thanks. Okay, guys. So we ran into Rye, and uh, here he is here. Also, how's it going? Uh, I'm not Ryan. I'm actually Brian. You sure? Wait, wait, I'm actually, I'm actually Ryan the Pop. Whoa, it's Ryan the Pop guy. Hey. Guys, don't forget to go check him out. What? what did you get anything good today? Or do you yeah. want to save that for your video? Hey. Yeah, throw it all in there. Ooh, and finally. And I got uh, Mr. Chicken Guy. Did you? Hey, not bad. And that's it. Yeah. Oh, you did get him. Yeah, you were looking for that one. Yeah, I got the Anyways, money. we brought over a bunch of stuff uh, today. Yeah, I got him a couple, but I grabbed him a couple things. You guys probably saw this from another video. Uh, we grabbed him a bunch. Anyways, yeah. Guys, check out these awesome Funko Pop customs. I really like that Darth Vader. Yeah, that one's neat too. No, get the Batman with the uh, the bat signal. Yeah, look at that. That is neat. You show these off too. These ones are custom Disney Infinity characters. Yeah. Crazy. I especially like the Star Wars ones here too. That's amazing. Anger up there too. Awesome. Looking good. Hey guys, we found the Tokidoki booth. I'm surprised it's here actually.
Okay guys, so look at these crazy ad icons. Limit to seven people in the booth at a time and me, Kenny, and uh, well Noah of course got in here. Um, but we have a bunch of really awesome ones. Some of them that we already have, but I'm looking at maybe getting the Singapore girl or maybe the Twinkie Chase, because I need both of those. Um, but look at this one, I'll oh, get this one. 250 pieces. That is crazy. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You get down a little lower, no, look at these ones. Ooh, Hot Topic guy for 75. All right guys, so if you're wondering my, why my hair's wet, I just got out of the shower. It's pretty early the next day. We got home pretty late, because it's like about a two, two and a half hour drive from the convention to home, so it got really late when we get, when we got back. So, I wanna show off everything that we got today. We got a lot of really cool stuff. Um, I'm gonna start with just the pops that we picked up too. Um, one of them being this one right here. This was given to us by a fan, which was really awesome. So as soon as we got there, um, we saw him and we ran into him right away and I gave him my what we were doing was the first fan that saw me got the Captain Marvel which you guys probably saw earlier um, but then he handed over a biker Daryl because he knows that I I looked at it a long time ago in a video um, and he remembered it so thank you so much for this This is such an awesome pop it's the previous exclusive Daryl um, where he's got the um, he's got a crossbow and he's also got a knife in his hand I mean I think that's a really awesome pop so here it is right here guys such a cool figure um, but again, such a surprise too. I, I had no clue it was happening. So thank you so much for that. But let's get into the next stuff here. We've got, so I bought a couple pops. There was this one booth that just had a line of pops. You guys probably saw me know we're filming in there for a while. It went down and then around and then back. It was this huge thing. Um, and I was like, okay, so let's check this out. And we found one pop in there that was Woody. Um, now I was looking for Woody. I've been looking for Woody for a long time. So the pops in there were $17. So I wasn't going to go and buy like some random common, but, um, Apparently this one, I guess they counted as not retired yet. They have like these, I I, I kind of think it's funny when they do this. Fun, um, like booths at conventions will put like little retired stickers on them and be like, oh, it's retired when you don't need that. And it just makes people want to buy them, I guess, a little bit more if it's not that desirable of a pop. Um, but this one didn't. So I'm not sure if it's retired or not, or maybe they just forgot about it. But anyways, really cool figure. Finally got Woody. Now out of this set, I just need ham. Um, and then we've got all of them, so that's pretty neat. There's Ham right there, guys, in case you're wondering. Now, they are starting to, I mean, I, we have seen leaks of the new Toy Story 4 ones. I'm not going to show them off here. Um, if you guys want to go check them out on Instagram and stuff like that, you can. Um, but I think there's going to be, like, up to, like, 16 pops for that. I'm going to be pretty excited about that. I'm probably going to be getting most of them, if not all of them, because I love Toy Story and all their movies. Um, so that'd be really cool. But let's get into the next pop here, which we've got. Now, these ones I picked up over at a booth that was called TKO Toys. Um, or TKO Toyko, um, and they had a booth where only seven people were allowed in that time so they could keep tabs on everybody because there was some pretty expensive pops in there. I didn't get any of the most expensive stuff. We were really debating on getting the Trix Rabbit, the flocked one, uh, but then I, I said no because it was 200 But if it was 200 you got a free pop with it, so it got like a $20 pop, so it's kind of like you're, you're saving a bit there. Um, but I'll show you what I got. So we got the Singapore Airlines, Singapore Girl. Um, I've been looking for this one for a while now, for like an okay price. And now that I saw it in person, um, I was like, for sure, let's pick it up. So 65 bucks for this. Um, the $65 was pretty good because when you buy it off their website, it was $30 and then $30 shipping. And that's like American. So it's weird that it was like that, but it's because it's coming from Singapore. Um, so it's like, it was pretty expensive. So I decided to just to get it there. Um, so that was pretty neat. I got this one right here. I was going to get another ad icon, but... There wasn't any that was like, you know, like 50 to 100 and something. I don't know. Like I was looking for something like not so expensive, but 
up there that you don't normally find in stores. Um, and this was one of those ones that I feel like could get expensive eventually if people, you know, forget about it and then all of a sudden it's like, oh, do you remember that one? And now it's like 150 bucks. Um, the other one that I got in that shop, or that little booth there, was Sully from Monsters University. Um, this is such an awesome pop. This is one of those pops that just started, um, like just happened when I was started collecting in 2013. See, this happened in 2013. I started collecting 2014, so it was just retiring when I was pop hunting, and if I would have saw this, I wouldn't have probably got it at the time, because I would have been like, oh, you know, I'm just collecting whatever at the time. I don't remember what it was. Um, but Sully is such an awesome pop from Monsters University. Um, also, I probably wouldn't have had the box if I bought it back then, so it's pretty cool that I could get it now for like 40 bucks isn't even that bad. I think it's worth like 32, 35 American, so 40 bucks is pretty cheap Canadian. Um, so now we also got this here, which was uh, signed by Gim Lee, uh, John Ray, John Rees Davies, uh, right here. He he was such a nice guy. Honestly, we talked for five, six minutes, and it was just and that sounds short, I know, but um, with the huge line behind him. Um, he was willing to talk to us for as long as he could, and then they had to kind of like push everybody along, so we got pushed out of the line. But he was talking to us about how, um, you know, the brain doesn't have fully developed till the age of 24, so, you know, cherish yourself and all this stuff. And he was really nice. He was very knowledgeable, too. Um, so it was really nice to meet you. Um, if, if he's probably not watching, but it was really nice to meet you. And we got the Gimli signed. Um, and I was, I told him that he was, <laughs> he had a, uh, he played the tree beard great, because he also played tree beard from Lord of the Rings. Um, and he laughed at that one, too. I don't know if anybody had Treebeard signed to get signed. It was more so Gimli, but um, he also double signed it as well. He signed it on the top. And while he was sitting there, it was, I swear he was just signing more and more just so he could talk longer. And they were like, did you sign yet? And he would be like, oh, no, signing the top instead of the front. And it was just really funny. Um, really nice guy, though. So th this is an awesome set of pops that we got here. This is kind of what I bought for pops-wise. I have two other things that I want to show you as well that we got. Um, but this is what I purchased anyways. I brought the pop, but I purchased the signatures. Um, I, bought, I, I bought these four, and then I also bought this here, I purchased this, um, this was the Huckleberry Hound Chase, so they had it at this one big booth, I don't remember what the booth was called, but um, I've seen those guys before at other conventions and stuff like that, Niagara Falls they come to, and a bunch of other ones, um, but this one here was 15 bucks, um, and I think they might have priced it out wrong, because I asked the guy, how much is it, and then he goes, oh, 15, and like, he didn't even look at anything, didn't pull up a price guide or anything, this guy's worth like 35 bucks, so that was a really great deal on that one, so, and that was awesome, I liked that one a lot, plus we were kind of talking to the guy, so I feel like he was being kind of like, you know what, whatever, 15, um, he goes, I guess, and then he said like something like, I guess I'm selling Pez now, um, so it looked like he didn't really care if he got rid of it, now this is something that I got from Rye, Rye the Pop Guy, you guys probably saw him in the video there for a second, uh, we didn't talk for long, but we did trade our pops, um, it says, ignore this, it was from a live stream he did. He just gave it to me in this box, so it came in nice. Um, but I traded him all those Rick and Morty ones for that, and then 30 bucks, I think it was. I, I gave him a giant box of stuff. If you guys haven't seen his video, um, I recommend going to check it out. Um, there's a lot of cool stuff in there. It's, uh, it should be his most recent video. Just type in Rye the Pop Guy, or, um, yeah, you should come up for that. Uh, but anyways, guys, here it is right here. He traded me this General Grievous for all of those guys, because he didn't, he's not into Star Wars that much, and, um... You know, he's, he would rather have his Rick and Morty set completed than have one General Grievous. I think I got him, like, five or six pops for his Rick and Morty set. Because what I did was I, I would go around, and I knew I was going to see him in March, like, at March break, right? So what happened was is I, um, I would go around and kind of, like, if I saw something that I knew he didn't have, I'd ask him if he wanted it. And then, you know, he'd, I'd charge him, like, a little bit for it. Like, I don't really know how much I charged him for. It was, like, 30 bucks for, 30 bucks in a General Grievous for everything, I think it was. Um... But yeah, it's really fun. Super excited to see Ride today. I got or I got the General Grievous pop, and this one also has the Koi Gun in this set. So now I've got the holographic Koi Gun, and this one I do not have normal Koi Gun. That's gonna be a tough one to get. But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys want to see more from me in the future, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Also, if you guys went to Emerald City Comic Con, how was that? Or if you guys went to Toronto Comic Con, how was that? But this has been another episode of Top Pops Popsters. Thanks for watching.